welcome to Film Study Podcast with Lexi. I'm Lexi. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Wow, wait. I said that and I didn't realize that I'm not even going to lie to y'all. This podcast might be coming to an end. (laughs) So you know what? Just (laughs) comment your thoughts. Nope. Still subscribe. Not I know. Like that. that is my official right? announcement. We don't know. No, we don't know. We're not coming That's to That's my end. official announcement is that, uh, you know. Delete it. Even if I. Delete it. Can I make my announcement, please, Carmen? Even if I do come back, no. it's not going to be as frequent as these have been. So it has been so great. So great. Um, getting to talk with everybody and do this podcast and um yeah we got news that mr daniel ezra is exiting the show so things are becoming very very real for all of us uh as we watch this show but um <gasps> did you not know that no i don't oh, know oh, i'm sorry really? well and, no. and i just told carmen on this intro as well so yeah i hope that you enjoy our thoughts uh, on 613 Victory Lap, which was supposed to be the original um, season finale of this season six. Uh, so here we go. Here we go. Um, y'all know the deal. Y'all know the deal. Grade me. A, B, C, D, E, F. What would you give this episode and why? Uh, I'm giving it a... B plus plus. Okay. I like that. Why? Uh, I got my wedding. Tradilla's married, y'all. Got my wedding. I got no vows. That's where the negatives is coming from. We we had to take away for that. Um I got lots of talking, not from Jordela, so we had to take a little <laughs> bit away from that. But <laughs> but the ending with the proposal that we got. I had to add some more points for that because that, that really made up for a lot of stuff that was happening early on in the episode. So that's my B plus plus. What about you, Carmen? I don't know. I just found out that he's not coming <laughs> back. Wait, what? <laughs> it's an A for me, but what? Okay. Okay. I'm processing. It's an A. Uh, definitely an A only because, well, I don't know anymore. Hold up. I love the wedding. I love the proposal. Um, yeah. I'm hurt. <laughs> um, <sighs> it is an A minus minus for me. Um, so like a double minus. I Not know, two, t- minuses. two minuses, but it's still an A. <laughs> You probably make it a B. <laughs> no, it's no, like no, no. so technically a B plus <laughs> plus. No, it's like the A minus minus is just above the B plus plus for me in <laughs> this ranking that we've made up. It's a, what is, is, a, what is a, a ninety? Is a is a ninety? Yeah, percent? exactly. 91? It's like a, it's like a solid like ninety, <laughs> ninety, like just on ninety. No, I hit ninety percent. No, you, you didn't. You said B plus plus. Yours is like an eighty nine point nine nine, and mine's an actual like nine. <laughs> like I'm at, I'm at, no, 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 no. Mine is literally like fine. Mine is. 90.0001. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. But I'll, I'll tell you why. It. I'll tell you why. Because, you know, the, like I described this at the top of the episode, this was the original season finale. And so I think looking at it as a season finale, I was just like, oh, this is, this is, I think this is a really great way to send all of your characters off this way. Uh, But thinking about the fact that they do have two additional episodes, that's where the minus minus comes in because I would have just preferred uh, just like a slightly different um, take. And by slightly different, I I would have like taken out like one or two scenes and replaced them with two other scenes. So, you know, obviously like the, the, uh, the proposal was really great. The Super Bowl was really great. Getting to see Spencer be Super Bowl MVP was really great. Uh, the wedding was really great. But also, again, we didn't get the vows or the first dance. Like, I, I just wanted one of those, like, one of those things. We did it. Either the vows, the first dance, or a talk between the two of them before it took that jump. Um, but also, I think, I, I still don't think that the reason that they had Spencer not go in the first round was grounded in anything that 
was real to me. Like, I felt like that was a, I understand the reason and we'll talk about the reason, but I don't think that it was a strong enough reason for him not to be drafted that first night. So that's why it's an A minus minus. Um, but yeah, I think overall, great, great episode. Let's get into, wow, wait, I guys, I just realized this is one of the last times I'm going to say this. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> you sound like you were like, really yeah, like. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's now. This is my. This is my opportunity to be nostalgic on this podcast because she wants to be balling by the end of this. Let's get into um, patience and coop. Uh, this was also like I would have cut some of these scenes <laughs> getting oh into the God. minus minus again i would have cut some of these things i don't yeah, think they minus, needed minus. <laughs> well and the, here's the thing i don't think that they needed all like what how many scenes did they get i want to say they got like five i Too think many. they got like five or six on this story or at least like extended time um to explain this but basically uh patience and laura at first are talking about the wedding song right because patience is performing and it's uh, Patience's first big gig since everything. Um, Coop interrupts that conversation, which... <laughs> <laughs> this whole entire episode, I just was staring at the screen and thinking to myself, this is why I did not want them to get back together. Because Laura and annoying. Patience are having this conversation, and then Coop just completely, as always makes the entire conversation about herself to say, I got on the Dean's list, right? Um, and Layla had been pressing Patience to sort of understand what was going on with her that day. Uh, and Patience finally tells her that she, uh, like, essentially, like, Patience's da- dance captain offered to her a Broadway gig. Um, and so she talks to Layla about that. And Layla's like, why wouldn't you go for it? And Patience is like, well, I haven't performed. And you know, who knows how long and after the case and everything. And she's says, you know, this wedding is the perfect opportunity to really get like your sea legs back in terms of performing and to find your voice again is what she says. And patience later at the wedding tells Coop about going to Broadway or accepting this Broadway gig, which can I take this moment to say, I am a theater nerd. And so I just have to say this for my own mental health. Patience is not a caliber artist to be going on a Broadway stage all willy nilly like this. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. sorry. She is not. I'm being so serious. She is not a big enough artist in the show as. He said you do not have Broadway talent. Listen, I'm just saying I don't think she's there yet. Not saying she can't get there, but I don't think she's there yet. Um, from what they've shown us. But anyway, Layla thinks it's an amazing idea. Um, and she tells Coop about it. Uh, Patience does. And Coop is like automatically shutting it down. Like, you're going to Broadway? <laughs> you sure about this? You've Listen. never acted before? Which, Listen. like, Coop, that's the stuff that I should be saying. Really, you and Coop were on the same page. But listen, we were on the (laughs) same page, but it's what I should be saying. You shouldn't be saying that to your girlfriend. She said she got to keep it real. (laughs) (laughs) We don't lie out here. (laughs) (laughs) Let me tell you, girl, you can't act. (laughs) You can say it now. You can say it, but... Like get in that book. You want to be on somebody's stage? So, that was that was that uh you ain't never acted before. I think that was a crazy book. line by Coop. You ain't never acted before. Um she wild for that whole conversation. And she was just like, "I thought you wanted to get back to your music." And she was like, "But it's a musical." <laughs> I'm done. I was like, well, what, you what, you what, what, what is going on? Why are we not getting late Livia scenes? That's what I was that's thinking it. when I was watching that's this. It. That's, I was going to say, what patient, patient scene, Rubs? You're wrong. Why? <laughs> <laughs> 
Look, Patience made her mad the second she found out Patience was going to Broadway. She's looking like, why are we talking about this? Girl, you cannot go. Now, get back to the exactly. No, I didn't even join that. I said, get, I, I, I wanted to lay Livia's seat. We hadn't even gotten a real lay Livia's seat at that point. Oh. So, anyway, um, so we see that again. Uh, and then Patience and Coop talk again, and Coop says it's her turn to make sacrifices. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> Listen. Oh, boy. Ooh, boy, oh, it's boy. Cool. It's it's just hilarious that, again, thinking about the fact that this was originally the season finale, could have worked as a series finale, that Coop is still in this very episode being like, who cares? It's about me. And then like at the very last minute, it's my turn to make sacrifices. Like it only took you six seasons and a hundred, a <laughs> hundred and four or five and episodes. Wait, wait. And it's all the way to the end of the season. The exactly. Season. That's what I'm saying. It, it took you a whole series, 104 episodes, six seasons. Listen. My goodness. Several breakups. I, I this is why I was so mad that they, they wanted Patience to take her back. Like, come on, man. No. It's just ridiculous. And it was exemplified in this very storyline. But we do not see Patience post uh, flash forward or time jump or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we do know that Coop is graduating in a few months uh, and that she is going to law school. So what do you all think about that storyline in particular? Carmen, how you feel, Carmen? <laughs> it's it's Coop. Do we really know how I feel? Just, you did say that at the. You were just like it's Coop. Coop is Coop at this point. Like we're nobody yeah, is surprised. Coop is yeah, Coop. Coop has been Coop all seasons. So it's just all like series. Uh, yeah, it yeah. wasn't surprising. It was just annoying. It was just very like, annoying, and it was just like, why are we yeah. not getting other things? And we're seeing Coop be selfish again. Like what? Come on now. I think I feel like the first initial annoyance of it was the fact that when she was talking to uh, Mama Laura, patients. And she asked her, like, oh, what's the title of it? Which means Coop heard her say, like, what's the title of it? And uh, Patience is like, oh, you know, I haven't figured it out yet. And that's when she comes around the corner and she was just like, the Dean's List. Like, how you... <laughs> how you make it about you? How? how you just completely disregard this conversation you clearly was hearing some of about your girl. And this is her first, like, single that's coming out, given everything she done been through. And you're making this whole thing about you and still was making about you later on. Like that. Oh. Cause that's what Coop, cause that's what Coop do. Coop been doing that it made me so mad. It made like, me so <laughs> tight. It made me so tight. And then tell her she's not even talented enough to be on Broadway at the same time. Like, like come on. And that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I can say that as an avid Broadway theater fan. Coop, you cannot say that. <laughs> Listen, patience should have came back at her. Be like, uh, mm-hmm. and you want to be somebody's lawyer? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let her tell the truth she one good time. Out. Let patience tell she the truth had... one good time. Ooh, she should have read Coop real good. She should have got a baby. She should have said, fake at, <laughs> fake at <laughs> manager. <laughs> <laughs> It's just the ass. It's not even the full oh. word. It's just the fake ass manager. Oh, goodness. No. Mooching oh the Spencer God. for the rest of your life. He ain't even getting drafted yet at this point. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's the Spencer, Spencer's extended family. Mooching off the baker. Spencer's extended family and Spencer your whole life. Go somewhere. Listen, uh, I try to let's run around and be a lawyer. Let's Lexi, like it, oh Lord, you like never get off your chest tonight. <laughs> That's why. It's because she about to be done. She said, "This, said, this is about to be done. This, this is, is it, y'all." Listen, she this, is my, Jackson, this is this my is victory it. lap. This is it. <laughs> this is it. She don't have Michael Jackson. This is it. <laughs> this is my victory lap. <sighs> <laughs> go ahead get go ahead we don't no, want we don't want to interfere you said that, that's that's where so we're done on coop we're done on coop and patience yeah i think i think we should be i just i think we definitely should get out of said- him um <laughs> <laughs> you said we're done okay well the next storyline was laura speaking speaking of laura talking to patience which was very random i'm like why okay um but there, I wanted to combine this whole like Laura and Luke and Liv's book thing. So uh, Laura and Liv are talking and it's really funny because they're both just talking about what 
gifts, what wedding gifts they each got, uh, Jordan and Layla, but they don't actually talk about like the wedding gifts that they're getting, but they're just like, are you trying to out gift me? <laughs> I'm like, why are you all taking this so seriously? <laughs> Cause she's a maid of honor. Mean something to them. It does. Yeah, clearly, does. clearly it does. Clearly it does. Um, but yeah, they think that the gifts that they got, which we'll talk about when we get to them, um, for Jordan and Layla were really great. Um, and then Laura checks in on Liv's book, and <laughs> Liv says there's no uh, updates because the book literally came out 24 hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> She has to do her like that. I love. She was trying to be excited listen, for her. I love when this show like touches on reality for a second because what updates can there be? But we'll get one she, soon. <laughs> listen, listen. She was just trying to be supportive, Liv. I, like, okay, I respect it. You telling that to Liv and to me? I respect it. She was trying to be supportive. And speaking of supportive, Liv then tries to be supportive towards Laura, which I had said, Mm -hmm. I said, I think it's way too early to be bringing Luke around. And Laura agreed with me, but uh, Liv is sort of pressing Laura to say like, hey, why isn't Luke invited? And y'all have been hanging out for a month. (laughs) I was not taking that. (laughs) Okay, can we can we pause and talk about it? I was not. What we talk about? His oils? His oils? His oils? I mean, because then, you know, Liv and Jordan have a conversation about it and they talk about Luke the hugger and the essential oil guy. And it's very clear Mm -hmm. that they have met him. They have signed off on uh, Mm -hmm. on him, which I knew that Laura would want them to do in some capacity. Um, But what do you think of of Liv and Jordan sort of orchestrating? Because obviously Jordan invites him to the wedding and he meets Willie and, you know, they dance. That was the story with them. So (laughs) was it too soon to be having Luke at this wedding? I think I still think Luke should have been at home. I I I do not think Luke should have been there. She should have called her man after and told him how this wedding was. I was not taking this. I also think like, it took away from established storylines. We got about three for four scenes of this. And if this mm-hmm. was really going to be, obviously it's like one of the, it's one of the, let's call it what it is. One of the last episodes with Spencer James, one of the last episodes with this original group together. And we're spending two, three additional scenes on a character we just met like two episodes yeah. ago that we've only gotten one episode on. I, and I like, think it was unnecessary. I feel like um, you know, I understood why the kids wanted to do it, but I don't yeah. think it, it should have been that many scenes of that. Like yeah, it, yeah. it could have all been stumped up in one scene. Yeah, and I appreciate the like share the love, kumbaya <laughs> of it all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> And then uh, again, like I, I really love that 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 Liv and Jordan were super supportive of this, and that you know he had already met them, and that it was in a place where it was, it didn't feel like super serious, but it felt like it they were at a good place. Um, but yeah, I just think maybe that is my big issue. Besides, I still think it was too early for him to go to the wedding. But my bigger issue was that we just didn't need to spend the time on it that we did. Gotcha. So anyway, that was that. But we do get news later on in the wedding. Uh, Spencer tells Liv, uh, first of all, that she is the anchor for them all, which I agree. I completely agree. Um, and he also lets her know that her book. <laughs> no, because this line specifically, this line specifically was just crazy like i have to think there is a couple of lines where and i i think this is why i appreciate it and why i rated it what i did because it did feel like a season finale this is what i'm saying because for the for the words your book dropped 100 percent it sales to come out of spencer's mouth i think oh. like this actually i was happy about but i just thought it was a funny line I like okay on this one here though. <laughs> like, like don't. I'm like, why are you all lying? Like, this is an insane thing to have someone say. Your book jumped a hundred percent in sales. Like, I need you all to be a little bit serious with this. <laughs> See, I wasn't looking that deep into it. You know why I appreciated the line? Why? Because season four, Spence 
would have never gotten that information. Oh, and no, now, I agree. Now, and I love it. He's he's getting the information before his woman and surprising her with this inf- information because she ain't even know it. So I was just stuck in the fact that he went and actually got this stuff and cares this much because, you know, they're in a much better place now. They are. Um, to be able to share that information with her. So I loved it. I was- <laughs> Maybe it's because my family, thought, my family is in publishing. So just hearing the line, it jumped 100% in sales. Like, not like 85. It jumped 100%. Look, it was a success. It was an overnight success. And I feel like that's all they needed to say. <laughs> 100, well, and not even that's all they needed to say. I just think that they wrote that line in there purposefully because it was like, this is the happy ending for everybody, is my point. Oh, I'm I'm like you. I'm just I was just glad that he actually, you know, invested in stuff that's important to her. Mm-hmm, Why does mm-hmm. it seem I, I also was happy about it. I'm just saying it was a funny lie. Like, what the <laughs> okay, okay. We understand. Wow. <laughs> wow. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Um, oh, you know what was also great about that? I love that he said that her, it was like her friend, but like Nik- Nikki? Nasha, Nikki, Nikki is the one who called him um, to let uh, to let her know essentially that this had happened. Um, and I also oh, think sweet. I love that they connected. So wait, it. Is I, wait, so is I credit false credit? Because he didn't look it up. Somebody called him, huh? Oh my gosh! Yeah, Nikki called him. <laughs> I mean, but he still had that information um, and retained it. And yeah, no, I'm still going to give it to him. I mean, he was uh, like he he was invested enough and invested so much that the and this is where this is really where my like kudos to Spencer came through is because he was invested enough for Nikki to even know, hey, I can call Spencer and let him know and he's going to get this information to her. Like yeah, that, that could, spoke I volumes think- to me. Yeah, and I think plus that episode where he was quoting line from line. He yes, girl. Really yeah. did this self. I he love said, that. I don't read this hundred times. Cover yeah. to cover, cover to cover, and even brought it up the yeah. uh, last episode. And yeah, no, he's been he's been like he's been phenomenal this season. I think with with it for sure. Um, and again, like with the, going back to that line where he said, "Like you're an anchor for us all," and that was so so true and so real. Um, and obviously, then essentially that's the last that we hear on the book is just that it, it jumped up in sales uh and when we get to the when we get to the flash forward when we get to the time jump um you know we see obviously she's cheering spencer on which we'll talk about but in terms of her book a fan comes up to her after the game to sign um uh, the coach Billy doll. He and this so is 10 cute. months it was really cute yes. and this was 10 months into the future and so to to the point about the 100% in sales, it really did jump 100% in sales because the fact that it already has merchandise, uh, she he's like, is there going to be a movie? And she's like, there's no movie yet, yet, keyword, yet, but there is coming. a TV show in the works that's coming out next year. So like it, you know, this book took off so much um, that she already has a TV deal in place and there's already merchandise in place. And, you know, Spencer mentioned that she, she's a best selling author in his speech. So like Liv is doing phenomenally well, phenomenally well. Um, of course. Of course. Yeah, of course. Of course. But it was like, it was great to see that for her. It was great to yeah. see that for her. Um, great. That the art, I mean that the writers put it in and, and they didn't just focus on Spencer. That right. Was great. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. And again, that's why I rated it so highly is because like, I think that the writers were being very sentimental and like they had some tongue in cheek sort of lines like the um again the 100% in sales is one of them for sure but also like the Jordala ship names which we'll get to was another one uh but they we'll talk about it but uh, it like they just found different points throughout this episode to be a little bit more tongue in cheek because they thought that this was going to be the last and i just i just it was it was i don't know it was fun for me to, to watch them do that and wrapping up everybody's storyline um so with that being said getting to the big ones getting to the big ones Jordan and Layla's wedding. Whoo! First of all, this scene 
was so sweet uh the when we got the first scene of them and he's looking for his shirt for the first time and she sees him and she's like it's bad luck (laughs) to see the bride before the wedding (laughs) uh and then they have that and he can't find his his linen shirt for the day uh but they do see each other because he's like this is what caught my eye the fact that she was just like she commented on his shoes and she was like oh but i only i only saw the shoes but then he says "Uh, oh but your skin is glowing i'm like (laughs) (laughs) what he ain't got time to pretend like he didn't see that he said but he said it doesn't count if you didn't look into the eyes yeah look in her eyes yeah he didn't he didn't look in her eyes yeah uh (laughs) But they have this beautiful scene uh, in shot, really, where they're standing back to back and they, you know, hold yes. hands, interlock the fingers, interlock the fingers. Um, and, you know, they he checks in on her on the wedding day and she's just like, she's bummed for Spencer because we know this just happened a couple <laughs> hours ago, um, but excited for the wedding. And he, he's just like, right, I don't need to s- see your face to know that there's a butt and it's that she's missing her mom. Um, and throughout this, woman. he does know his woman. And throughout the day, they're doing their separate things. Uh, this was also so funny to me because this season they have loved this word kickback because pre wedding dude kickback. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> what is happening here? Uh, but the pre wedding dude kickback, Jordan was trying to kick off. Ha ha ha. Uh, but he couldn't find his shirt. Uh, so he was like checking with Spencer, checking with Asher. Asher got him this like really, really small oh my God. tiny That's shirt. <laughs> and we find out it was really Liv doing. Yeah. Exactly. We find out it was Liv's doing. And so that this when we get back to Liv and Laura talking about the wedding gifts. Um, <laughs> are you trying to outgift me? Um, this is also the moment where uh Jordan takes the time to really check in on Spencer. Uh, throughout the day and say like again everybody's I think acknowledging that it was a really big disappointment that he didn't get drafted and so uh, you know the more I watch that episode the more I think this happened number one because they needed to find a way to make Spencer a part of this wedding but also because he's the protagonist but also uh, that Jordan really understood I think how big of a disappointment this was and the fact that he told Spencer, like, you know, you are one of the greatest gifts my dad has ever given to our family. Uh, and oh. I know it was really, really sweet. And he also, like, what? asked him to officiate the wedding. And he was just like, I want to do it because, you oh. know, well, Layla's. I was th- like, <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Listen, again. And I- then the- the the license online in a few minutes exactly then he got the license online and this jordan was still Mm -hmm. looking for the shirt but i think that that was really special and i'll get your thoughts on him officiating but i think that was really special from jordan because i think that he did want to find a way to make spencer a part of this wedding but also that him officiating i think was jordan's nod to spencer that like i'm still in your corner um even through this difficult time of you not getting drafted yeah what do you think kaya yeah at first i was looking at it um a little like "Mm, why is he (laughs) like just weird with him being an efficient but then at the same time because i figured if he um didn't have him doing this i would have liked for him to be a part of the wedding party in some way um even if it was just having like two best men but then i looked at that and i was like nah that wouldn't look too great with like live coming down um and then having like the separate dudes coming down individually. Also, side note: Did y'all see the way this boy Asher was coming down that aisle? Go, I know because like, I no, gone. I have something to bring up with that. Like, <laughs> so I, we're gonna pause on like, that conversation. Why is he walking like that? So I was like, I don't, I, I wouldn't have liked it visually with Liv coming and then them coming separately to stand side by side when she's the only girl over there. So to, in order to have him a part of it, I guess he could be like the officiant of the wedding. I also like that even though he didn't get best man, like there was never him complaining about not getting the spot. I'm pretty sure he like understood why George chose Asher for that position. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. And then still just accepted, like he wasn't expecting to be in the uh, wedding party in any shape, uh, shape or form, but like still 
except in him becoming like the officiant and you know being able to be there for Layla too because that was another part of it was yeah he wanted someone like there that Layla knew but also I was like um who who was the officiant like did y'all have an officiant that's originally? okay that was my question too is like what was the officiant I also up. like I know that he said and I'll accept it right like I'll accept it but there was a little part of me when I first watched this that said I feel like this is more for Jordan and Spencer than it is about Lay- Layla needing someone there that's familiar <laughs> at least to me at least to Agreed. me when I first watched Agreed. it because I was just like I don't think Layla is yeah I was just like I don't think Layla's <laughs> thinking about who's officiating is, yeah I don't think that she that made the sense of being that made her feel any no yeah because she like was he was gonna be or, there regardless so it was yeah it, uh, i was but i also was like okay who was the official like i i thought that I they that, i thought that, that the officiate was like gonna get sick or something and he would step in but it was literally like jordan being like i'm sorry to ask you last minute i was like what the, what the? Listen, I, yeah i think i would have um prefer if they just would have made it where he wanted that he wanted spencer a part of it for him mm-hmm. because he did that's the best man and so kind of like Okay, you know you're not my best friend, but I, I mean best man, but I want you to know you're just as important. So how about you marry us? I would prefer that than the, you know, it's the comfort for Layla line, because I was like, how? But I feel like the comfort for Layla line was just like an additional line there, because you already have Asher, you have Liv on the other side. Like, it's pretty much most of the vortex there. So just throw somebody else up here, and it's all our homies. No, know, and that that's what I'm saying. That's horrible. Just throw somebody else up here. Yeah, and <laughs> I think and I feel like that's why I didn't. I didn't. That makes it worse. I did. That's what I'm saying. I, that's why I didn't love it because I think that he was yeah, going I'm, to be there regardless, and he was a part of their day. And again, I think that they needed to find a reason to put him in this wedding, but like he was going oh, to did, be a part. Like, I know, but I just don't. I don't think that they needed that extra line about. Um, they just. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, and I, and I also think it like not that it would have meant more, but I think that it was, it was so special. Jordan saying like, "You're the, you're one of the greatest gifts my dad has given to our family," and for yeah. that to be, especially for the challenges yes, they've had this season and like over the course of the series, like just for that to be uh, Jordan's moment would have been cool. The other thing is, so after he gets the, uh, after he gets this this role of officiant. He starts looking for his Bible and Grace tells him that he doesn't need the Bible. <laughs> and also Dylan is suddenly the photographer. And I'm <laughs> I'm over here listen, like what? did listen, Jordan and Layla plan nothing? <laughs> like at this point, I'm like, what is y'all doing to my wedding? <laughs> listen, <laughs> at that point, this didn't um make me knock anything off of the episode like i didn't hate it i just thought these things were like funny i gotta clarify for carmen <laughs> she thinks i'm coming for everything but i just no, like listen, when, when it comes to that i'm coming for that like <laughs> the, what? The, the what? are y'all trying to say my baby days ain't important we ain't hiring nobody professionally <laughs> like what is we doing and they got the friends <laughs> to do it is the thing like they have the money to do it, but again, I guess they want to keep it small and, and, I was like, and intimate. We, I was like, "We're not broke. What we're doing? Like, why are we?" Oh, look, Dylan. he has he has an artistic <laughs> eye, Carmen. Dylan is an artist. Speaking of his artistic <laughs> eye, he set up a whole shot list, so at least he was coming prepared. Uh, but the shot list included mostly pictures of Layla, and I get. I feel like this was the one. Yo. Where I was like, I appreciated the joke, but I just would have appreciated the joke happening a little less. I thought he was funny. Like, I took it for the humor of it because I'm like, they're not getting a divorce. Ain't no way. But the fact that he's just joking about it. Dylan, like what? 15, 16? Yeah, he got a little crush. My crush. Point is, like, listen, why did we he first take that little <laughs> My is she back on these pictures. My thing was I didn't mind the joke. I just didn't love I didn't love the second joke when he was like divorced. I feel like after that I was just like, all right, we don't have to mention the divorce. Yeah, divorce on the wedding day. Like even if the the divorce joke was in the next But that's why Spence was getting on him too. No, I know. Listen, me and Spence were in the same category. We're like, all right, you're doing too much now. Like we mentioned, uh Jordan couldn't find his shirt because Liv took it and what her wedding gift to I'm assuming the both of them was is that she custom embroidered Jordan's shirt with Billy's number 22 on the uh on the cuff 
and on the um tag of the of his shirt um and so she had had it this full time and she was in on it with asher and spencer uh just to get a little blackmail um before jordan gets married and he finally got to smoke his cigar um but it was a really sweet moment for them and i think it was a nice touch the twins yeah to to have this moment with like reflecting on the fact that billy wouldn't be there but that he was still with them just like jordan had told layla at the beginning is that even though their parents weren't there physically that they were still with them especially because um in the beginning of the show he was like like he pretty much accused her not being a good sister and the whole time was like pranking him like she had a shirt and she knew she had a shirt that was right exactly exactly she was she was watching this man freak out (laughs) yeah all day (laughs) and Ashley was no better because he was in on it and he was at the good sir they were all just like yeah i honestly i thought that there was gonna be a scene about layla freaking out that jordan was freaking out about his shirt listen oh no i didn't after i found out dylan was the photographer? I knew Layla. Nothing was gonna freak Layla out. She killed. She, oh, <laughs> she was like, all I care about is that I'm getting married to this <laughs> man, and she was so it. real for that. Yes, yes. Look here, yeah. I got my clearly. man. We got our video. That's clearly all my girl talking about. <laughs> no, I Honestly, I, I was just like, Layla is really calm. This is a good day for her. Very. She is. She was really so calm. calm. She wanted to help. She patients. was. Yeah, yeah I was just like, like she's so care. calm. She's helping other people. <laughs> Not that she does it. I feel like if she if she wasn't sure about the wedding then she would have been freaking out about like every little thing but after all the work my girl did on herself she was like now nah, i'm in a place where i could just sit yeah back but, but, but even but even outside you know it's her wedding day like you know to want if they're yeah, right. yeah. Like, yeah but she's been planning she's, she's a planner she was like whenever we get there we're gonna get married um, and she was still planning last uh episodes <laughs> but yes. i think i think the point is is that she she just she felt this otherworldly sense of calm and actually yeah. um getting to laura's gift so Laura, Aww, it was the best. It was, and and I'll say this was another example of Layla's uh, calmness. Is that Laura says like you know, you know, we're an hour late, or Coop says we're an hour late, and then said then Laura says like we're on time, and she's also like you know the wedding doesn't start until the bride the bride is ready essentially, uh, and then like Layla quotes that Layla, she was just like listen, listen, she she told me it don't it don't start, so I got time to have this conversation with you patients, so that was that was really cute that she took that advice so uh, quickly, um, but Laura's gift to Layla was you know. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say all of the, you know, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, and it is that she took the uh, blue diamonds from Monica's necklace that she wore on her wedding day, and she turned it into earrings for Layla, which mm-hmm. I just thought was <sighs> that so was an sweet. amazing gift, like whoever i don't know if it was like jamie turner that came up with that idea himself because he was the writer of this episode but it was like that was an amazing gift (laughs) they really thought that out i I did i did just have one question though about i was just wondering why she just ain't leaving a necklace no Uh, because she already had the necklace and i feel like well and uh, and also the reason why she didn't leave it as broke no, I also think the reason why she didn't leave it as a necklace, besides the fact that Layla already had a necklace, is because uh, it had to, it was all of the things, right? It was something old plus something say, new, new and something borrowed I know, as just, well. I just, I just would have thought that that would have been automatically something blue, the necklace. But okay, I get it. But it, was, it, w- but it wouldn't have been something new. Like, so they had to get all of the categories. Okay. You know what I mean? Because it's like the... The, the necklace changing into the earrings made it old and new at the same time. Yeah. No, no, I guess she summed oh. everything up. I was just trying to figure out, like, well, why would you just leave the necklace? But it was cute. I love yeah. the idea. But I was just trying to figure out why we leave the necklace. Yeah, it was to it was to get the <laughs> it was to get it was to fulfill all of the requirements, which is why I thought it was like whoever came up with that idea. Kudos to them because that was like just a really great uh yeah. gift that Laura gave and you know this is also what I love is that Laura told Layla um 
first of all, that you, maybe you could pass them down to your old little girl after telling her that like yes! would be with them. And my also, it was Grandma it was Laura? <laughs> not Grandma Laura. Grandma Laura, yes. <laughs> Maybe Laura. And then Laura. it was Layla. It was Layla for me saying this is beyond. And then Laura replying, "No, sweetie, you are beyond." And I'm like, "Why have we not been getting yeah. this the entire season?" Like, they're pulling it. Just uh, this scene was so special, and I am just, I don't know. I'm mourning a little bit the fact that I, I thought that we would get more interactions with them this season and we just did it same um because this was like a really special scene and i was just like how much more special would this be if we had seen like them you know obviously they're already close but also just like layla becoming more and more comfortable which to to your point carmen about you know the fact that she said she's like thank you mrs baker and she's like you don't have to call me mrs baker anymore and they like hug but then later she literally says you know mrs baker (laughs) said Because <laughs> it's gonna take time. That's all. It's it gonna is take gonna time. take time. Also, but, this, I yes. did. I but first the of fact all, that we just got the sister last episode, and yeah. then we get the, you know, the mom kind of this episode was like, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did want to pause here and ask this question: What should Layla's new name for Laura be? Mom. Mom. Just mom, mom. straight out. Yes. yes. Okay, I'm just asking. He called her Jordan's mother. <laughs> Mom, that's sweet. I'm just saying. I'm just. I don't. I don't know what she called her mother. So I was. I thought it was a cool question. Anywho, I agree. I think Mom would be a great name. <laughs> <laughs> that's the name. That's the name. Um, yes. So that was adorable. We get to. Uh, our small short lay libya scene because i guess they were like they got their scene last uh episode um but Liv is helping layla put the final final touches on getting ready and then you know they they talk and Aww, she's like Am I missing she did anything? it for grace now she's doing it for layla yeah. right yeah yeah exactly and then um <laughs> that makes me think when we get to predictions who's gonna do it for her uh <laughs> Probably Layla. live live in Laura. It's Layla. I mean, I mean, that's what I meant. Layla and Laura. Layla and Laura. Um. So JP appears in the mirror. This is the only <laughs> lines we get from this man, <laughs> as we should. He's not important. Crazy. Um. And so he comes in. And he's just like, "No, you're perfect." Answering Layla's question, and he says, "Jordan is lucky to have you." And and she said, "I'm the lucky one." She said, I'm the lucky one. And it it's, you know, as big a deal, and I understand the disappointment in a lot of fans, um, in a lot of fans' mind about this and how, like, the fact that they didn't get vows. But I was just like, with, and, I, and there was a little bit of disappointment with the no vows for me. But also, when I kept rewatching, I'm like, you know, like, what more can the writer... And I almost always thought that, like, even before this episode happened but i was just like what more can the writers have them say about one another and it it was really the fact that i feel like their vows for me myself and i was summed up in layla saying like no i'm the lucky one like she was really just thrilled to be marrying this man (laughs) girl that was her dream and she didn't care about nothing else (laughs) she didn't she didn't and like you know talking about spencer right spencer getting to the officiating to go down the aisle there's a whole beautiful uh scene of the beach uh and all of that and spencer starts off and he starts off by making jokes about like the ship names (laughs) which yes what did she say what what did she say they should have been called it said the lorden 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 or yes. olinster olinster was cra- i've never heard any any soul on earth called spencer and olivia or olinster they can take that one back 
<laughs> yeah, that thing was terrible. I was like, y'all just put that in there extra because they know nobody yeah. said that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, why are we getting this? And then he's like making a joke like who uh, who is objecting besides Jill, uh, except for Dylan or besides Dylan yep. or something like that. And I was just like, ah, the joke has run its course. We get it. <laughs> I, yo, they have too many jokes going on in this ceremony. That's what I'm saying. I was like, no. I was so, like, <laughs> it's just getting me annoyed. I was literally, but the thing is, it's just like, I, it wasn't like an angry frustrated. It was like, a, I was like literally on Listen. the floor laughing. <laughs> no, I, I was like, I'm come bad. on. I was that as many, as many Dylan's, you know, jokes we got because, I'm still mad we got none when, when Spencer got with Liv. Like, wait a minute. Like, why would he get any of these? Yeah, no, because I was just like, it. this whole idea of Dylan having a crush on Layla, I've had to sort of wrap my mind around because it came out of nowhere for me. And my cousin actually, being a guy, explained it to me. He was just like, well, he can't go after his brother's girl. And I was just like, no, no that's that's fair. Um in terms of switching the crush from from Liv to, or yeah from Liv to Layla but still I was just like the amount of jokes that we got I was just like Oof. we can do, we could toss in one but we don't need we don't need 3 5 4 6 like <laughs> come on now yeah no <laughs> especially not during the ceremony in the very first part of the yeah. ceremony you know what the the ceremony jokes like why i was like this is too much is because they had spencer starting out with the jokes and then they had all Liv of the interruptions her jokes. <laughs> asher yeah and yeah like, i was just sitting oh there looking God. like all right who else is talking next and then asher came in i was like nah this is too much right here no literally and then, even with Liv, i was just like Liv, i love like, you but we don't need to re redo the whole we already know we already know that you were a french so it's like, just like save it for the reception yes it was the reception really was a no for me because i'm like is it about them or is it about everybody else? Because yes, the bride and groom weren't like even it. speaking in their own ceremony. <laughs> like it no. was great, and I think that's where I think that you know I would have removed like a coop and patient scene or or a Luke scene and like actually spent some time. Even if it was just like honestly, at this point, I feel like I would have preferred like a montage and I get it like and this is why I refer back to the like my book sales jumped 100% because they were like this was a (laughs) tongue-in-cheek sort of a finale where like the writers were having fun and I appreciated the fun I just like there was a little more I was like okay we we get it we get it (laughs) like this is the last (laughs) like He's like, it's understood. It's understood. Yeah, I was just like, I understand. I understand. Uh, but also, can we just? I on, at that point, I just would have preferred like a montage or something, and not had the the talking. <laughs> but I will say, even though the the interruptions and the jokes, um, I was just like, okay, about. Uh, I did appreciate Spencer saying, um, you know him saying that like love is worth the wait for them and also him saying like uh you know no matter how hard you try to plan for a better life life will make a better plan um and him really just saying that like he pushed that he that they pushed each other to be better here's the thing yes spencer yeah those were the good parts of it Yes. yes, girl, I was just going to say, because the mother part. <laughs> that was really the good part. parts of it. Like, what? The other parts, the, uh, the when he said, like, I always knew Let's this go. would happen, or, like, when I, <laughs> Why, when? I told y'all this would when? happen. <laughs> Wait, no, you know what got me, like, because I said, um, please take me back to when you saw this happening. He said, <laughs> y'all vibed hard. No, but I was literally when 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 did he see this i was literally you know about to it? say that first of all you the- know when he saw it <laughs> when? he saw it when he was on a bus he saw it when he was on a bus that they leaving that voicemail he saw it Boy, <laughs> i said you're a liar so you never peep none of that none of it <laughs> none of it none of it can I tell tell you that vibed hard, flirted hard, and fought hard lied like I was like I don't I was like stuck. it. I don't like no, it at all. I said, no, 
y'all play too much I was in like, as as and i think it was because as many beautiful and gorgeous lines that we've gotten about this relationship just across the board throughout the co- past couple of seasons and then for this to be what's said on their wedding day <laughs> What? I cannot. I can't. Vibed hard on the wedding day. <laughs> That's what they said. That's what That's they a said. Spencer line. That's a Spencer should have grabbed that Bible because <laughs> he was making up stuff left and right. He should have oh not God. listened to Grace talking about you. Just gotta yeah. be you. No, get that Bible. Y'all need to. Oh y'all need to say your vows before God. Come he on can't, now, love is patient. Love is kind. He came through at the end. The end, he ended great, but the beginning and the middle was like, uh, what? He was he Sir. was struggling. He had some lines, but I just don't mm-hmm. understand why all this. Like, I knew this would happen again. <laughs> like, what? This is no. why. Like, this is why I know my girl is down bad. She didn't. Even she was care that so Spencer happy. Was. She was the happiest she's ever been. That girl was just look. She was. She, was, she like in, in Kaya's words, she was cheesing away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and she was. She and she was, was cheesing away, and they continued to cheese away. Um, because then Spencer announced announces them for the first time, Mister and Mrs. Jordan Baker. Which again, yes! you also know. This is how you also know that she loves this boy because the way she did not hyphenate that last name. She was not taking that nope. name. Get that name out of here. My mom already been honored before. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying this is just an mm-hmm. example of how much she loves Jordan. Like, she was just like, no, I'm going to be Mrs. Jordan Baker, period. I have Period. always wanted That's to be all a that baker. Matter. She said Officially. today is the day. Get that key Listen, out of she here. was like, and this, <laughs> this is what I'll give them. Because also, I'm going to jump ahead to Asher's speech and then we're going to come back to Liv's speech because it was actually good. Um, obviously, we got to see them for first dance for like one second and then we got to see <laughs> JP cut in and that was that. Um, but when they, and then Jordan got his moment with Laura and Willie, a brief, a very brief moment. Um, talking about like how you know you you have to take advantage of every moment essentially, but when we get to Asher's speech, it's the fact that this man started it off with giving himself props. I was like, oh y'all pissing me oh off my, for that's real. What I said. It <laughs> mad. Like, and then showing his like, woman, no. <laughs> Jamie. I like you, girl, but I don't need to see you right now. Like, <laughs> it was oh, all the extras in the background too. Like. <laughs> Yo, I was cracking up. We I talk about this all the time about the extra. Like we actually, I like, actually did that, and then then we got a phone call. In the middle. I was like, "Are we serious? <laughs> this is what we do?" Okay, but I didn't. I didn't mind the again. A, like no. as I watched no. it, it you said no. No, they could watch it after. Well, the thing is, I knew. I feel like I knew that it was the call was going to come during the reception. It wasn't going to come during the ceremony. Why? Sure, just, Why is all just, these things doing my baby stuff? No. <laughs> Because <laughs> drama, you gotta add some drama. You gotta add some. T- um, yes, yeah. You just we could we could have been enjoying. We could have been enjoying an intimate first dance because they messed the first dance up. That was not to go to, to cut they, to they Coop and, the when they cut away from the first dance to cut to Listen, Coop and patience. That's I was like, I'm, okay, that's my problem. That's they choice. treated my baby. They treated my babies wet and as if it was like just like they was getting married on the playground. Like Carmen, don't doing? even get me started, Carmen. You see how they did them right. <laughs> B plus plus but again, again, I I feel like I there is not much that I would have changed about this episode. The only thing that I would have changed is again the ceremony. Took I would say I would have taken like one or two scenes um, from other storylines. So like be that Luke or be that Coop and Patience, and I just would have added maybe a conversation between Jordan. I the vows are like um, like I would have liked to see them but i think that I if it was like if it was either the vows i feel like we got the first dance in the last episode so maybe not even the first dance but either the vows or the just a conversation between the two of them i feel like we got it would have been an we a plus got a cake plus. cutting we could have got nothing cutting. Carmen, we didn't even get that carmen nothing this is, this they is had a cake us. there by the way i saw that on bts <laughs> So you and know what? And maybe they just didn't have time. Maybe they cut a lot of these scenes. Um, you know why? Because we was over there with Luke and his oil. That's why. <laughs> and, and that's what I'm. Sa- I just didn't understand. Again, the Luke storyline in particular. I was just like, we do not need to be spending this amount of time on this. Um, but that being said, 
like we said, Asher gave himself props and he was just doing the most. But mm-hmm. the grand takeaway from his uh, speech before we get to the big uh, storyline is that he said, <laughs> honestly, I was like looking at him side side eyed in the first half of this sentence. But then as he ended, I said, OK, but it's the fact that he says the one thing that I like admire about them is how little they've actually changed and that the love yeah. has always been there. And yeah. I was like, yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> So obviously everybody knew the love being there except you know except that part like, 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 um living. what is happening right now because again <laughs> like I don't mind that I don't mind that people are acknowledging what I think that a lot of people in the audience can tell already which is that Jordan has always felt this way I think that obviously there's been some feelings on Layla's part too even was just a crush listen that thing but, but it's the but fact to have that two it's people but yeah. to have two people ha- that dated her say it is crazy oh y'all knew well, what was y'all doing exactly. okay. and i think that was the point <laughs> and i think specifically yeah. for spencer and asher it was like for spencer it was number one you did not see this coming and we don't need to act <laughs> like you did see this coming but also for asher it, him saying like the love has always been there it just didn't it didn't work for me. Like I would have taken that line from Liv and she just kept quiet about it. Uh, but I'm just not, I'm not taking that seriously from Asher's perspective. And then it's like, just like him last week, it, just like him last week, because it's Liv also just like, so you did all of this. From. And that's what I'm saying. Liv is the only person this yeah. is acceptable from because she's the only person that it's believable to have like kept all of this in and like not said anything until they figured it out on their own. Mm-hmm. But Asher having dated her and being like, oh, I thought that you just got over it or whatever. But then you're at my yes. wedding. Yeah, it's on it's on always wedding been day, you yes. too. <laughs> yes, it like, yes, over doesn't her. make yes. any sense and also that I don't think that Jordan and Layla's relationship needs to be retconned like this like we the, their story no. is already beautiful on its own we don't need Spencer and we don't need Asher to pretend that they saw something that they didn't to make this story beautiful that like part. it's already they a don't need story. you telling us that they vibed hard <laughs> 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 y'all vibed hard y'all fought hard which I also the fought hard uh, I'm, 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 let, me, let me shut up let me shut up I said, oh, <laughs> we'll talk about we'll talk about it in the Jordala breakdown we spent way too long on this and then the last thing I'll say on this is that uh, like I said, Asher eventually wrapped it up with a really good line, which is Jordan and Layla, you are each other's purpose, which I agree with. Um, yeah. And then Liv's great speech about how she played Mary with, uh, she, first of all, she introduced Layla. She was just like, Layla, my sister, my bestie. My and the bestie. person I played, and the person I played uh, Mary with, and she was just like, Jordan, my brother, my bestie. And the person I also played Mary with, with Layla, which I think was the writer's nods to say, Layla has felt these feelings before. Yes, um, it was. By that, that was a confirmation for me. Um, she also said, like, Layla, you've always been a baker, which is true, is true, but it's just official yeah. now. Mm-hmm. And the fact that she said, like, this has been on Jordan's vision board. <laughs> yeah, she had to give like, to my boy that, that, that like, she had to like that. Ooh, she yeah, really she put him on black. on black. And then Asher talking about some, it's true. Okay, so why did you date her then? Thank exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. What do you mean you thought he was over? Exactly. Regardless, uh, she again had this very beautiful speech, and she really takes this moment to like quote Billy for Jordan and and quote Monica for Layla uh and give them yeah, a really great like, blessing over their over their marriage which was I think was just mm-hmm. it was the perfect maid of honor speech so for me I it think was. like live in terms of the people that like support like out of all of the speeches that we got and the gifts it was like live and Laura ruled the day for me <laughs> in terms of you know what they did for Layla and Jordan Agreed. over there getting to mr spencer james thanks for listening to part one of our review stay tuned for part 